Hello folks, another Friday night and we are here to do a little other tasting here. Um, I've never tried either of these before, just went out to the liquor store, just bought them. So I figured why not open these up in front of you guys and with you guys. Hopefully you've got something at home yourself that you're enjoying. Um, and I figured I'd open these up and kind of give my first impressions. So I haven't really taken much time to read either of these labels. I've heard of I've heard of this brand before, uh, Gooderham and Warts. I've heard of it before. I've been wanting to try something from them. Uh, this one I haven't even heard of before. This uh, smoked peat. So uh, sorry, what's it called? Smokehead. Sorry, smokehead. I don't know why I thought, I thought it was called peat. Uh, yeah, smokehead. I lay single malt Scotch whiskey. So we're gonna see. He's got a nice skull there. We're gonna see what that one's like. So, um, so yeah, I hope you have a great Friday night. Here, the Christmas season, it's almost holiday season here. We're a few, we're a few days from Christmas. I guess Christmas is one week from today, so that'll be nice. A little holiday break. But it was a long week, so I think it's time to have a little something. And let me see if I can get this thing open. Oh, it's, uh, I wish I had a joke to tell right now or something, but I don't. Can't think of one. Anyways. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is a nice, uh, nice looking bottle here. It's, uh, Find out what we got here. This is a this is aged 17 years. This wasn't actually that cheap. I think it was 107 dollars or something. So it wasn't cheap. Um, it's uh, I give you a really good look at it there. So it's uh, it's 45 percent. 17 years. It's it's a three grain. It says um, called Little Little Trinity Canadian Whiskey York Upper. Canada, it says. It says, and it's got a little brief history about the label here a little bit. It doesn't say too much else. What does it say? It says, William Gooderham established the Little Trinity Church, the oldest surviving church in Toronto in 1842 for his mill and distillery employees who couldn't afford the high pew fees in the area. Pew fees? Huh. Pew fees to go to church. Hmm. Times have changed, I guess. Um, this whiskey celebrates the story of Little Trinity with a balanced three grain blend of rye, corn, and wheat for a dried apple and creamy vanilla taste with a rye finish. Oh, to me that sounds delicious. Okay, we gotta see that sounds delicious. Oh, that's a nice. Mm. Oh yeah, it smells pretty nice. I'm gonna pour this one, let it air out while I check out the other label. I'm going to have to sit there and get a little bit of air here. Okay, now let's, let's uh, check out this bad boy. Look at that thing. Pretty sweet label, I would say. Probably a good conversation piece inside of this thing. Smokehead, Islay Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. The skill of the bottle in Scotland, 43.3%. And it says tasting notes. It's kind of got a little, nice little legend there of kind of just how much everything is in terms of its different tastes. So it says very high in peat, very high intensity, kind of a low range spice and kind of mid range sweetness is basically what it's saying. Ooh, it says intensely rich, yet subtly sweet. Smokehead embodies a wild spirit and appeals to those with an Appreciation for heavy, earthy peat with immense smoke and notes of sea salt and spice. This is a vigorous whiskey that stands out from the crowd. Okay. Doesn't that look good? Let's see what this bottle looks like. It's kind of fun going and buying something brand new. You've never seen it before. 
Never tried it before. I never. I didn't think I even heard of this brand. I guess I've seen it before. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, there's the bottle there. Let you guys get a look at it before I even I do. Oh yeah. Ian McLeod Distilleries Limited. Okay, well. Looks good. Okay. Let's see if I can open this one up. There we go. Sorry, folks, about the slow openings here. Sorry. <laughs> That's probably the boring part here for you guys. You guys probably said, get to the whiskey. What does it taste like? Okay, well, let's get this some poured and, and airing out a little too. Oh boy, yeah. Definitely some good peach smell there. Hey. Hmm. Okay, well, I am going to here, I'm going to clear my palate here a little bit. Way. Okay, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna kind of just give these two noses a compare first. Okay, this one, oh, it's really, it's, it's got a really nice sweet. Oh, what is that? I should probably try to remember what it, what it said, but you know, it's got a really kind of a, a light sweetness that I can't quite place what that is, but. It's a very pleasant smell. Maybe a little bit of almost apple, almost maybe. But very light and pleasant. But then you can you know, smell a little bit of the alcohol in there for sure. Yeah, it's, that's a really nice nose actually. Let's try this guy. Oh yeah, you can just take the peat in on that one. Peat, but you know what? That, that little bit of sweet I was talking about. It is peat with a little bit of sweet. Strong, yeah, nice, strong, rich peat. But just a hint of, of a sweetness, almost like a, maybe a caramel or something like that, but it's a little hard to tell. Okay, okay, well, here we go, folks. This is what Friday nights are all about right here, right? You know, it kind of hits you in a nice light, kind of quick way. Like kind of, kind of a very, like it's bringing something in a good way. It's kind of, it's kind of got a little bit of a punch to it. And then it kind of just fades away relatively quickly, but in a little bit more of that fruity, almost apple taste maybe. But then it's got a nice little burny finish. It's kind of just finishing a nice burn. That's kind of nice. Hmm. I know this is, this is a strange two to compare with each other because the peat's gonna totally mess up my palate for this one. So that's why I wanna try this one first. This isn't really a compare contrast, they're totally different kinds. It's just, just the excitement of buying a new bottle and just kind of the first impression of each of them. Hmm. Yeah, you know, you, you kind of get a little bit of that. Now, now I'm tasting a little bit of the rye in there. The second sip, I could really kind of pick out some more rye flavors, a little bit of the rye spice. Just that just that typical Canadian rye flavor. And it does say it's a blend of, oh, it does say apple in here. I kind of forgot. It says blend of rye, corn, and wheat for a dry apple and cream of vanilla taste with a rye finish. This is very, very nice. I mean, age 17 years as well here. Wow, yeah. This is a bottle that's gonna be well taken care of. Let's put it that way. That's nice. Mm. Ah, that's a really nice, 
you don't really want to stop drinking this. Like you have a bit, you're like, but I, I gotta try this uh, peated one. Let's clear up my palate here. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, drinking your own right now on a Friday night. Oh boy. Maybe you got one of these that you're trying right now. Okay, yeah, now we're on to the peat. Just a good peaty push. Oh boy. I like this. You know, this has got a little bit of a, probably my favorite peated whiskey I've ever tried yet is uh, Ardbeg Evendale. And and I like the real richness of that one. Um, this has got a little, reminds me of that a little bit here in terms of it's just got a little bit more of a rich quality to it. A little bit different than you know, let's say Lafroy Ten or Ardbeg Ten, or a little bit, a little bit more peaty, but a little bit lighter in terms of just the way they kind of come out. This feels a little bit more of a richer texture. Maybe it's the sweetness that's layered in there a little bit that makes it like that. But oh yeah, this is nice. This is a nice. I like this nice, full, rich peat. Your mouth kind of goes with peat in, in, in a great way. This is nice. Mm. You know what? Great first impressions from both of these. I mean, these are really nice. Um, surprised I haven't heard of this one before. And this one I wanted to try. These are excellent. You know what? Maybe later on, after I've gotten into these bottles, you know, weeks from now or whatever, uh, maybe I'll try to rate them. But a little bit early to do that. But... Boy, these are really nice. So far, I'd recommend at least uh, trying them. I mean, I mean, they're really good. Anyways, have a great night, everybody. See you later.